Hi guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and we're gonna go into Clip Studio Paint EX. Now this uh, picture is called Rock and Droid. This is by Stefano. Uh, you can find a link to his work uh, in the description of this video. He sent this to me uh, for testing in this. This picture is 5,000 by 3,335 pixels at 300 DPI. So what we wanted to do is in Clip Studio is we wanted to give an idea of what using a medium-sized file looked like. So this is the new Surface Go, new Surface Pen. This is a Tablet Pro Artist Pad that can be found in our community assets. And then up here in the corner, uh, you'll see that we have um, the hotkeys being displayed by KeyPress OSD. So you can see what we're using. So uh, I changed this, uh, and I'll show an image right here of what it looked like before. Uh, the, the screen's way too busy with the full Clip Studio Paint, um, all the palettes up. Uh, not my preference, some of you might prefer that, but I like this bigger drawing space. Uh, so here, you can see I'm pulling up the color wheel. Oh, and let's get a brush. Okay. All right, we'll pick colors and adjust the brush size. Um, my my opinion, and this was I was getting the same thing. I'll demonstrate right at the end of this video. Uh, Clip Studio doesn't really run great on the Surface Go yet. Now this is obviously it's a larger file. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the brush size down so you can see what that looks like. So if you're zoomed in and the brush size is not too big, it's okay. Like I would say, um, you know, like uh, I've been giving all these videos ratings three out of five stars. Uh, let's go ahead and, and close this and open a new file. Uh, let's bring this down to 300 and okay and let's close this first one uh, don't save all right so here's a regular file bring the size of the brush up um, there's a number of times where it does work decently. Let's go ahead and plug it in. As you can see it plugged in. I haven't noticed a big change in the difference in speed when it's unplugged or plugged in, which is actually really good. Uh, some machines are, are wildly different when they're plugged in. So here, uh, this brush Just, just kind of slow. Uh, there are brushes here that work fine, but I I wouldn't say that any of them. Well, I I guess what I'm saying is I I wouldn't say that Clip Studio and the Surface Go are a great match unless you're doing. Uh, you're a little more patient and you don't mind. A little lag. Again, some of the brushes really are not bad. Again, with the the hand on the screen, not on the screen. I know Clip Studio is really powerful, so a lot of people really prefer it. They do a great job with um, color and line quality. Uh, I've also noticed that on a semi infrequent basis is that that little uh, palm rejection issue. All right, so here we just doing better now. All right, 
right, so my, my rating for Clip Studio, if you adjust the settings down, uh, let's do one more file. And we'll set the resolution down to, uh, let's just go all the way to 72. And let's close this first one. Don't save. This lower resolution here, I think it is definitely usable. But even here, not, I would not consider it uh, ideal by any stretch. Um, I'm sure that there's some things that can be adjusted or tweaked to make this uh, run better but my rating, I, I really go back and forth between two or three stars, um, two and a half stars for Clip Studio. It's compatibility with the Surface Go. Not the program, the program is fantastic. However, the compatibility with the Surface Go, um, four gigabyte model is, is just not, not great. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please check out the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro and uh, the Key press OSD up here uh, for anyone who's doing tutorials uh, or uh, actually does quite a few different functions. But check that out as well. And uh, thank you guys for watching.